This business started in the early 60s when my father and two of his brothers went into business in Utica, West Utica, just off of Oneida Square. Over the years, we've grown and expanded, stayed in Utica. Here we are at the Harbor Point area. 50 years later, we have uh, a dozen or more employees. We've got two buildings, one devoted to industrial packaging and the other is devoted to furniture. The industrial side of the business is uh, shipping crates, boxes, other containers, specialized so that they're tailored to individual products rather than just a shipping pallet or something. Those products range from small wooden boxes to ship tiny little metal parts to boxes to ship howitzer cannons. We work with some local manufacturers. Uh, we work with the U.S. military on the cannons. After doing this for quite a number of years, we're still in the cannon box business, as we call it, and uh, just recently got a nice contract which will keep all of our guys employed and hopefully add one or two to get this contract through timely. The cannons are actually made just north of Albany in an arsenal called Water Vliet. The small cannon box is 18 feet long. The largest that we make is 26 feet long. These are serious cannons that, that, uh, that are deployed all throughout the world and they're stored and shipped in the boxes that we manufacture here. The cannons that go into these boxes are all howitzers. They range from 105 millimeter to 155 millimeters with a range up to 22 miles. We've been successful with the military for over 20 years now. A number of years ago, we were required to use paints that had all kinds of chemicals and it needed more kinds of chemicals to, to thin them out. And we finally said that we, we didn't want to work with this anymore and they allowed us to work with a paint manufacturer to come up with a latex version that was acceptable. And for lack of a better name, they decided to call it Falvo Green. And that actually appears on the specifications throughout, you know, throughout the military when they need this, this particular shade of olive drab, it's Falvo Green. In our furniture business, we started 20 plus years ago with a, a focus on residential furniture. We wanted to make custom furniture for residential use. And we fairly quickly found that our strengths were actually more in the commercial and industrial strength kind of furniture that's found in hospitals and nursing homes, colleges. And that's where we focused. Over the years, we've done a lot of work with people and agencies that, uh, that serve the disabled. And we're taking some of the things that we've learned from that and incorporating that in virtually all the furniture that we make. Uh, those things range from tables that adjust in height, chairs that we can customize to, to fit people who are either exceptionally tall or short or exceptionally heavy. We do closets that we can adapt to people's individual range of motion. Anything that we can do to tailor a piece of furniture to make it more useful to the person who's got to use it uh, is what we are able to do in our shop. The way we work to customize the furniture that we make is to talk to the people. Often it's therapists or uh, direct care workers who have an individual with specific needs. For example, somebody in a wheelchair often can't reach a closet rod, so they need help getting dressed. What we've done is we've found a fixture that we can use to bring the closet rod down to the individual. So they have that independence. People that are, are unable to sit for long periods of time. For that, we have tables that adjust in height. Our work is focused with institutional customers, but we would never tell a, a residential customer or an individual that we can't help. If we can make some adaptations to furniture that will allow somebody to stay home longer, be more self-reliant, be more independent, and enjoy their home, uh, we'd love to help with that stuff. As I mentioned earlier, our background was in industrial uh, construction, basically. We applied some of those same techniques when we started making furniture. Uh, we found that, uh, especially with the customers that we were serving, it was better to make things a little too strong than just strong enough. I usually tell my customers, I hope you like this stuff because you're gonna have it for a long time. The best way to contact us is by phone. We do have a website. One of the things that we've tried to do here at Falvo Manufacturing is maintain a local presence, keep jobs here, 
We work with as many local manufacturers as we can. Of course, all of our employees are local. We've tried to bring a, a real concern for the customer's needs and put that first. We were recognized as the best contractor to serve the Department of Defense um, a few years back. We want to take that kind of excellence and that kind of service and apply it to everything we do.